I thought, well, you know, why don't I make an unboxing video here? I can't promise that there's gonna be, uh, this is my little buddy. Hello, do you wanna say hello? This is my little bud. Do you want to say hello? I have certainly benefited a lot from people who've shared. Now, I've never done an unboxing video before. Within this box, I assume, is a Dell XPS 15. I believe the code number is 8560. That's the latest Dell XPS 15. I have a laptop that I purchased about five years ago. It's too slow for modern day video editing. And I've never had a Dell, but I've heard very good things about them. This XPS 15, is a 15 inch display. It's not a 17 inch power hungry gaming laptop for travel and airplane. Lightweight is really important and there's a lot of folks doing video editing with a 15 inch display. And I checked with some video editing folks said that this is right in line with things that they would recommend folks look at for travel. Right now for me this is fine working on a little tray like this which is what I do. I really need to be economical space wise. All right with all that said why don't we open this up now and see what it's all about packing uh, the packing list here the packing list first let's see what it says is in here so now let's definitely has that high quality, you know, sort of uh, boxy kind of thing that a lot of products nowadays have. Very nice power supply, all wrapped up nicely. Well, I think that concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm just kidding. Now there's a little plastic doodad thing here. The quick start guide warranty. Okay, so this is the top of the unit, this is the front of the unit, this is the left side, this is the right side. So it opens this way and it's uh, viewed from the perspective of you. So you're looking at this side, this is the left, this is gonna be the right. So starting on the left hand side, power adapter port, a USB 3.0 port with power share, an HDMI port, Thunderbolt 3 port with power delivery, and this is USB-C, the headphones jack. In the front, um, if you look carefully, you will see a little hole there and a little hole there. That's the left microphone and the right microphone. And this um, center uh, LED, if you look there, is the battery status light. Going to the right hand side, SD card port, another USB 3.0 port. Then we have this little nifty button you push here and it lights up these LEDs to actually show you the battery charge status. Uh, moving on right here, we have the typical security cable um, hookup. And in the back of the unit, other than the hinges, I really don't see a whole lot going on, which would be different for me because usually there's ports and things on the back of uh, some of the laptops I've had in the past. Okay, let's open this up and get ready to power this thing on. Well, first, uh, what we have here is a very basic setup here. Trackpad, uh, kind of a small keyboard. Lots of little functions here with the function button, very typical with laptops. I don't know this computer yet. So uh, looks like there's all the standard ones there for brightness and, and volume and all that kind of stuff. So, so, you know, pretty typical looking there. Maybe some other features that I need to learn about. There's a little power button here and uh, I'm gonna push that uh, after I put it in the power supply so we can see the ride uh, that Dell takes us on with this computer.
There's a little LED lamp on this uh, plug here that goes into the computer so that you can know that it's hooked into an AC outlet. I'm going to now push the power button and let's see what happens. All right, so let's give touch a try here. Let me click next and it works. Hey, go figure. Good news, we've located your Dell account. Log in with your password to finish registering. Well, I think that's pretty cool. I entered in the same information that matches my Dell account and they found my account. That's kind of nice. These are some of the same details that I just went over earlier. There's the AC power port, USB, HDMI. got this really nice backlit keyboard. So that's it with the basic setup and install with this. I have to say, relatively speaking, this was uh, very simple. So the next thing for me to do is to install all my applications, which include the video editing applications, photography stuff, office applications, all that kind of stuff. But the real test is, what's it like to edit video on this system? I'm going to take the footage for this unboxing video and edit it on this particular uh, laptop right now. And I will insert some thoughts or comments on what the experience was like for me uh, at the end of this uh, video. So I'm going to go do that now and I'll touch base in a second. I thought, well, you know, why don't I make an unboxing video here? Well, I gotta say, I've been working on this unboxing video for most of the day today on this laptop, and I love it. I was really worried about this smaller display, and you know, I thought it was gonna be too restrictive, but it's not. I actually think it's very comparable to my other older laptop that has a slightly larger display. I'm not really noticing a lot of difference, and in fact, the quality of this display is so wonderful that I'm not even thinking that it's slightly smaller than my older laptop. I mean, and I, I think it's also that coupled with the wonderful features that give a lot of performance. I use Adobe Premiere Pro for video editing, and this thing has a GeForce GTX 1050 GPU, which Adobe Premiere is really happy to see and it's got 32 gigs of RAM, which is wonderful to have for Adobe Premiere. And then on top of that, um, it's got a one terabyte SSD, which, you know, for the IO is wonderful as well. So all those ingredients with the processor as well, they all work together to create a really fluid experience as I was video editing on here. So I was very happy. Well, that's it. These are just my initial impressions. I obviously, I need more time with this to learn all the ins and outs and everything. But so far it's looking really good and I, I'm very impressed with the fact that such a small and light unit, which I can travel very easily with, can be used for video editing and all kinds of stuff on the go. And so that's very impressive. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it and take care. Thanks, bye.